Maximizing the benefits of ultrasonic instrumentation involves implementing proper techniques. The three A's of ultrasonic instrumentation are adaptation, angulation, and activation, and proper execution of each may enhance effectiveness and efficiency. The last four millimeters of a new Cavitron ultrasonic insert tip is referred to as the active area. The active area is responsible for the disruption and removal of biofilm, calculus, and stain. There are two ways to position an ultrasonic insert during debridement, vertical orientation or transverse orientation. Vertical orientation positions the active tip towards the base of the pocket like a periodontal probe. This orientation is best suited to access subgingival deposits. Transverse orientation positions the insert more like a sickle scaler. This orientation is best suited for supergingival access and for deposits under the contact points. Cavitron ultrasonic scaling systems are magnetostrictive technology. Therefore, the insert moves in an elliptical stroke pattern. With this elliptical movement, all surfaces of the active area are working surfaces. Specifically, the clinician has the ability to adapt all four surfaces, the back, face, and two lateral sides of the insert to the tooth surface. The goal is to keep the active area of the insert tip, not the direct point adapted to the tooth surface. Maintaining a 0 to 15 degree angulation between the active area and the tooth helps achieve this. Teeth are irregular in shape. Therefore, it is impossible to use the same angulation on every tooth or root. Angulation will constantly change throughout the ultrasonic procedure. Adaptation of 2 to 3 millimeters of the active area is most common. Adapting one millimeter or four millimeters of the active tip area may be needed in specific cases and is dependent on deposit type, deposit quantity, and tooth or root anatomy. Implementing an angulation beyond 15 degrees may impact patient comfort, root surface preservation, and effective removal of deposit. Activation is often referred to as the working stroke. This movement of the active tip area is created and controlled by the clinician during an ultrasonic debridement procedure. An effective working stroke incorporates a methodical approach and overlapping strokes. Clinicians should visualize the active tip area contacting every square millimeter of the tooth surface. Organization of working strokes is encouraged during an ultrasonic procedure. Movement of the active tip in controlled channels is recommended, meaning your active tip should stay within a two to three millimeter imaginary boundary and should travel coronally to apically. The specific movement, tapping or sweeping, is determined by the deposit type and quantity. When addressing moderate to heavy hard deposit, implement a tap, tap, tap into the ledge of the calculus, followed by a sweep, sweep, sweep strokes. For biofilm disruption, employ overlapping methodical sweeping strokes. Tapping is not advantageous for this type of deposit. Combining Cavitron scaling systems with ideal adaptation, angulation, and activation during ultrasonic instrumentation may lead to a comfortable patient experience while maximizing disruption and removal of biofilm, calculus, and stain for effective and efficient clinical outcomes. Music